Hello friends, this is Chinmay Das from Ethereal Elixir. I have a friend, Vikas, who suggested to come up with a simple garlic bread recipe. So in this episode, we are going to try a simple garlic bread. To prepare the garlic bread, we need a garlic butter. I'll prepare a garlic coriander butter which we can use for garlic bread or chili garlic noodles or even garlic fried rice. It can be used in many more recipes where we need to infuse the flavor of garlic. We will toss the minced garlic in olive oil or avocado oil and then we fold it into a room temperature butter so that way it infuses and locks in the flavor of garlic and other herbs and spices and then we refrigerate it for our future uses. So let's get all the ingredients. The bread aisle of the grocery store is here. I can see different kind of breads like uh, this one. This one is a uh, Italian bread which I'm taking. We'll also get a New York style Brooklyn bread. So that and we can also try uh, French bread. So I'm taking this three. I'm, I'm ready to make this uh, wonderful garlic butter. I have a cup of garlic here and a cup of coriander leaves, fresh coriander leaves. If you want to add any other spices, like for example, if you want to add oregano, if you want to add any other Italian seasoning, you can very well go ahead and add it. And this butter is very, very versatile. You can use it for any kind of garlic based dish, like whether you are making uh, garlic bread or whether you are making uh, garlic fried rice, or as I told, if you are making, um, let's say, chili garlic noodles. So you can use it, you name it and you use it, whatever, whatever garlic based dish you want to do. So I added one tablespoon of avocado oil and now I'm going to spread it on the pan. My dad added a little bit more. Now spread it on the pan. Now you have to add all of the garlic. But don't make it brown. So we are going to saute it for around a minute uh, or one and a half minute. We do not want, we do not want to brown the garlic. We'll just uh, saute it uh, like very lightly and then we add this to our soft and butter. So again a note guys, like we do not want to burn the garlic or we do not want to make it brown at all. So I have my softened butter here. Yeah, yummy butter. And to this, I'm going to add the garlic. Meshka, will you help me? Yeah. Can you please uh, get the coriander? Where do I keep it? Here, keep it up there. Okay. So here I have the, the garlic goes all in in the butter. Then goes in the coriander. Chopped coriander. So while the garlic is cooling, we're going to be doing the bread. So here we have French bread. Then we also have this Italian bread. And we also have this New York Brooklyn bread. So my dad is going to be cutting them, so let him cut it. So you're going to cut it like in the middle, like a book, so it opens up. Bread's here. What I'll do is I'll make slices of bread, like a bite-sized pieces. And then we make all the three, three breads, we apply the butter, and we make this, all the three breads go to the oven for around 12 to 15 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I have this uh, Italian bread 
I mix them just like this. You apply and the apply the butter here in between two slices Ooh. and here. Then we wrap it in a foil and put it in the oven. Oh. So my garlic butter is ready here, if you could see. And I'll apply the butter on top of this bread. You want to help, Nishka? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So we apply this butter here. Then we sandwich them. Does it smell good? Yeah. I'll spread it? Yeah. Huh? Let's do it. Okay. I need you to help me open it. So that's a lot of butter. Yeah. You don't want that much. And now, this goes in the oven. My oven is set to 375 and it's ready. So it'll go in the oven now and we'll set it, set the timer for around 15 minutes. Hey guys, so I'm the taste tester Nishka Das and all of the breads are out of the oven. This is a Brooklyn. This is the Italian and this is the French. So let's taste it. It's really like slippery, but really hot. In salt butter? Yeah. I want to taste it. <laughs> really crunchy. Can you crunchy? Yeah. I can hear I love it. it. It's really good. How's it? Like soft but crunchy at the same time on the outside. And it has all the flavor of garlic and mm -hmm. coriander. And butter. And butter, of course. <laughs> <laughs> this is the French. So let's try it. Wow, these yum, are yum, 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 yum. This came out a bit softer, right? Yeah, it looks like it. For you. Really Steaming hot. hot. It's really hot and buttery. But it's like not as crunchy. Let's try it. For you. Thank you. This one feels really hard and crunchy. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Out of three, which one you like? Out of all of them? Yeah. I would say, I would like this one. The Italian one. The Italian and also the broccoli. Okay. Yeah, subscribe, share, and like. Bye. On a walk days, you may not have time to spend around 30 minutes to prepare the garlic bread. So what you do is, you take your bread and apply the butter on top of it now this can go in a toaster or on a on a pan so two will go on the toaster and two will go on the pan on the right we have the bread which came out from the toaster which uh, really very well done and looks very crunchy on the left we have the breads which came out from the pan so both took hardly two minutes to prepare. So if you have the butter ready in your refrigerator, then it, it's just two minutes or three minutes short. So let me taste it. It's really, really good. Very crunchy. This was the one which came from the toaster. So let's try the other one. The one which was done in the pan, it's okay. Um, slightly burnt or like um, garlic a bit order this is really good 
So what I feel, uh, the one which came out from the toaster are really, turn out really very good and uh, those are really crunchy and it takes two to three minutes to prepare them. So friends, try it and do let me know how it turns out. And do not forget to subscribe, share and like.